Hello and welcome back to Joby RC. And as you can see there, I've got some masking going on on the case, which means it's painting day. So, what colours do I go with, do you reckon? I'm sure you may comment on this video whether you like them or you don't like them. But obviously the first colour we're going to have to go with is black. So that's the one colour we've got. And then what would go with that? Obviously nothing else is going to go with that apart from blue. So just sort of imagine a bit of blue across here as you would and then obviously the masking is going to be black. So we've got a strip of black through the middle, blue down the sides and the rest of it I'm going to wait until I've done it to show you because it might work, it might not, but I do have a, a special way of doing the blue that might work out really well or it might be a nightmare and a disaster. But let's get that black done. I've masked it up so it's ready to go. Let's get the black on there, see what that looks like first. And by the magic of editing, three, two, one, bang. So there's the black. So we've gone from clear to putting the black in. Um, yeah, it's a little bit rough at the moment because I haven't taken the out casing or the outer shell off, out of plastic. And you might be able to see just in there, there's a little bit of overspray that I have to clean up before I get that blue on there. But now you can kind of start to see where the blue is going to come in. And I might touch in a few places, other places with black, like the back window here it needs to be black, really, not blue. Um, but yeah, that's the black so far. So I think next step is to clean it right up and let's get that blue on there. And finally, you can start to see what my idea is for the blue. So go with the old magic again. And here we go. And there she is. Colors on. And it looks really good and i went with the blue as you almost as you would with the um the new one but um i've put in some uh stripes in here that are supposed to be see-through but as you saw on just when i was doing the black i had the over over spray on here and i scraped the uh, plastic so i need to polish that out but you can see on the back it's going to look really good if I can get that clean because it means you can see through to what's underneath, which is what we want to see anyway. But yeah, I haven't cleaned the back, but it's looking really good. And I reckon that might well do it. So let me know what you think. Put a little comment down what you reckon, how it's going. It needs finishing touches. Um, I have got the back wheels coming. So I'm just waiting on the fixings for those as well. And it's uh, damn good, I reckon. So next video is going to be doing another test run with the shell. This is the best you're going to see it. I'm not going to just sit it on a shelf and let it look like this. I want to use this so this is the best you'll ever see it i'll probably roll it over in the next video and scratch it up so all this scratching on here it probably won't stay clear like the back is but it was an idea and it, it, i think it looks good it breaks that blue up a bit and um yeah so next video is going to be taking this out again with the shell with all the finishing touches on it and we'll see how he how he does but uh yeah as for the pretty much the finish it's come from that one piece 
at a time that we did for this completed truck. So it went well, I think. First Traxxas that's been fully customised all the way through. So see you next time we'll get this out on the track again. I have got a perfect dirt track that I can take this on. It may not happen straight away because of all the issues at the moment. I don't want to be taking going somewhere when I shouldn't be going somewhere, as you all know. But as soon as I can get this out, you'll see it on a dirt track. So for now, stay safe, stay indoors as much as you can. And we'll see you next time. Please subscribe and hit the bell. Bye for now.